American marketplace happens in the uh, foreign arts complex. It's not just a museum, it's also a space for community. A space to gather, but so much more. You can support local businesses. So there's this, um, this community here that is, you know, we're supporting one another. We were awarded the Smudge Shine Award, which allowed for us to expand from 850 square feet into 2,500 square feet. With our new expansion, we were able to include the Door of No Return. We have the Henry Box Brown installation. We have the Dunlap Room. Literally every corner I turn, like there's something that, you know, some information or something that blows me away. But I'd have to start when you first walk in, the installation from the artist Lee McCormick. Southern trees. I feel like it was one of the best pieces of work that I've done thus far. And uh, it's really a privilege and honor for it to happen here. Every night I was like, after a whole month plus doing it, you're like living the experience too. You know, it felt like I was kind of like on the ship or trying to figure out how people could survive something like that. I don't know if I could. I don't know how I would have handled it, you know. Black body swinging in the southern breeze. Artists, they have a really great imagination, and sometimes they could see us out of the situation that we're in. And that's another reason why this museum is so important, because the historical, but also contemporary. So there's this conversation between where we've been and where we're going. I do like making um, art that pertains to culture, as well as like my personal journey as a person. Shona has helped me bring my artistic life into the next level as far as getting paid for doing art versus getting in trouble for doing stuff like spray painting on places and doing all that type of stuff when I was younger. The museum has always been in my life. I actually came to the museum for the first time when I was in third grade. We don't see places like this. I have family that come in here and almost break down in tears because it's so much energy that's intentionally placed here for us to feel. Celebrating the legacy of African Americans, that's very important to me. Uh, African American history is American history. It's world history, and we need everyone to celebrate that, no matter what race, and be happy and proud about the legacy that these historical African American leaders have paid. There are many parts of this I'm excited about, but you know what I'm most excited about? The fact that you, Shona, have had the vision to say, you are going to create a docent program for young people. I help coordinate our special programs and currently our youth docent program. Our youngest docent is a middle schooler. Our oldest docent is first year college. They're actually sharing information that we collectively research together. We verify together. We help put together displays. There's a lot of sweat equity out there. When you do come and, and speak with our docents, you'll see that they are very willing to share the knowledge that they've obtained. When I hear the word docent, it doesn't sound all that exciting, but we as docents have the power to influence what people think of their history and of themselves. I think it helps having youth being the docents rather than adults because we're more approachable. They might be inspired by the stories, the art, the people in here too. I believe that working here at the museum helped me become more confident and I've learned more about who I am. Art helps to just crack open a space allowing them to be who they are. Art ignites fire in one's soul and that makes me happy knowing that I'm able to help uh, spark that fire 